Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android library tutorial and today in this video we are going to just have a look at the Android material ripple effect library. So as you can see in the website, in the GitHub website you can see we have the material ripple layout and as you can see here is some of the examples how it actually look. This is actually for the people who are uh, making the Android app for the pre Lollipop versions like the Jelly Bean, KitKat and something like that. So in case if you are focusing the people or focusing the users to your app from the Lollipop or higher version then you don't actually have to use this. So mostly we will be creating the Android app for the Jelly Bean and a higher version. So in, in case if you are focusing your audience from the Jelly Bean and KitKat, then you will need to add this ripple layout. So now let's have a look at how we can able to introduce it into our Android app. So first off, as same as what we have seen in many different libraries, we have to copy the dependency and paste it inside the this project level. Sorry, so inside the app level Gradle file. So paste it below this thing. Now we have to click on the sync now. Okay, now the Gradle is being building and now it's completed. Now let's go to the website again. And now you can see there is two different ways that you can able to use. One is through the main activity dot Java and another one is directly by using by wrapping the your elements using this material layout. So we have to simply copy these things or uh, yeah, just copy all these things. Go back to under studio and now we have to close this close and now you have to come into your activity XML file now let's go to the text and I'm going to simply pasting it below between these two main hertz okay now what I'm going to do next is that I'm just copying this from here and I want to paste it like yeah maybe just copy this thing paste it instead of, instead of relative layout okay now I'm removing everything now what we actually require is to just remove this relative layout then press ctrl alt l and that will automatically format the codes now what we have is something called a material design layout and now if you're trying to run the application in a real android device then you'll be finding that whenever you press anywhere else inside this this white area then it will be going to have a ripple effect and if you want to just add the ripple effect for a particular button or some kind of element then you can just wrap that particular button using this ripple layout and um, you can leave the whole layout as the relative or linear layout so now i want to change this height into something like 200 dp 200 dp now it is something like that okay now without being said let's go and try this in a real android device Okay guys, so we have the Android app in the Android device and everything is same as what we have seen inside the Android studio and now when I press the button you can see we have a ripple effect all over the screen and same applies to the area other than this button. So if you want to give the ripple effect for a particular button or something like that then you can drop that button or that element using this ripple effect. I hope you guys got the idea and as always thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.